Hey guys, it's Thursday here and welcome to the Mark Thomas Home Builder Show. Today's video is one I'm just really excited to finally put together and I hope you like it. If you do, please put some comments or give me some thumbs up. I really like that. And what I'm doing is I'm shooting this eight ounce weight and it's attached to 180 feet of this special line right here. I, I forget what they call it, like slick line or something. It's a special tree person, like an arborist or a tree company's line for throwing that up in the tree. Then after it comes back over like through the V of a tree, you can tie a big heavy rope to it. And then as you're cutting the tree, you can help pull it with that rope. You can tie that tree to your truck or something like that or get a couple guys pulling on it. So I'm going to show you a little bit more on, let's see, here's the, here's my launcher right here. It's an air cannon. It's also a spud shooter was designed for. I didn't, I built this actually just to have it for launching the line. And here's my gauge right here. There's a lot of videos on YouTube showing you how to build one of these things. Fill it to about 55 or 60 PSI. This is a sprinkler, I think they call it a diaphragm valve, I believe. It just quickly opens it up to uh, when you pull the trigger and there's where you put your air in. So I'm gonna, let's go inside. I will show you a little more a drawing on what my plan is and how this works. And then uh, some footage after that showing you some actual demonstrations of me pulling the trigger and shooting this all right let's go inside all right check this out here's the scene here's my truck there's me with the air cannon here's the big tree it has a big limb up high and right up here is a clear area that's the target that i want to hit with the weighted bag so i take my air cannon shoot the line with the weighted bag on the end through the that area right there it goes over the branch it comes down here I can tie a big rope to the end of that line and then I can pull it back up this way through and hook it onto the hitch of my truck so that as I'm cutting the tree it wants to lean and go back this direction and I've got a nice lean-to shed I don't want it to hit so I'm gonna cut the tree and pull have somebody else pulling the truck forward on my signal so we can safely drop it the way we want it to go. So let's go to uh, some actual footage and see what's going on. Here's the two ash trees that I'm going to drop in this vid. The one to the right, I shot a line through the V of the tree. Here's the shed just within 15 feet of that tree I don't want it to hit. The original audio in this video is rather poor, so I'm just going to talk over it. What I'm going to do is you see the V of that tree right there. That is where I want to shoot the line through. It's going to be almost like kicking a field goal. So let's check out to see how this works. I'm going to drop the eight ounce weighted bag into the air cannon. It's got 180 feet of that line attached to it. We'll get a little closer here and see what happens. That is a thing of beauty. Wow. That is awesome. Now I'm going to tie a big rope to this uh, throw line and uh, pull it back through. And then uh, I'll be able to pull on that leaning tree as I'm cutting it down. So This time we're going to uh, try it again, see if we can aim that weight through the tree again. So I'm ready to go with it. So uh, let's see what happens. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs>